move into the quick fire section and all I want, Nadia, is the first thing that comes to your mind. Um, the questions are kind of arranged into past, present and future. Um, so okay. let's go right back to the beginning. What is the first ever football match you went to? It was Denmark against Iceland, uh, my first ever match. My coach took us to that game. And I don't know if you remember Thomas Grausen, who used to play for Everton yes, and then later for Real Madrid. I do. He scored a bang of a goal and he did like the celebration where he's like, yeah. And you know what? I'm friends with him now. And I remember him like, you, I watched the first game with you where you scored this goal. And he's like, oh yeah, that was a pretty decent goal. <laughs> he was quite scary looking, right? Like he had that skin oh, head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the field, he was a beast. But he is the nicest person. Oh my God. I'm like, how? <laughs> yeah, you know, you have two sides. <laughs> and who was your first footballing hero? I think uh, Ronaldo Nassario, the Brazilian, uh, definitely looked up to him. I think he was amazing. I still do. I love that guy. Every time I watch him, I'll be like, wow, the stuff he does. I yeah, he was, <laughs> he was incredible. I mean, they call him El Phenomeno, right? Like, yeah, he was, true. Uh, he was just incredible. I had the chance to meet him too um, at a conference, and he's the nicest man. Like, so shy. You know, he's yeah. not a superstar at all. So, yeah, good choice. I, I, like, I liked him yeah. too. And bringing it into the present, what's your, do you have like a pre-match ritual? Do you do anything consistently before a game? Not really, no. Uh, I don't believe in rituals. I think I don't yeah. want to be, yeah, I don't think about this stuff. I feel like everything that happens is because of me, not because of certain right. luck or phenomena. So I try not to do anything even though sometimes I believe, oh, I wore this and we won three games in a row, then I just take, like, I I'm not going to wear it. I'm like, you know what? Let's see if this is going to hold. So yeah. I don't have any. I just will try to be loose, you know, listen to some nice music. That's it. Who is the greatest person you've ever met thanks to football? My coach when I was younger, um, someone who I looked up to is like a brother to me. His name is Brian Sorensen. He's still a coach in Fortuna Yaring. He literally took me under his wing and was doing a lot for me. Especially because I was, as a kid, I was, had a lot of temperament and he kind of helped me understand myself and talk with my feet, I guess. And then also, uh, I would say my agent, Michael uh, Kelbeck. I love this guy. He is a character. <laughs> if you ever meet him, you're going to love him as well. But I really, I think he's an amazing person uh, and he's so genuine. I love when people are 100% hundred percent truly themselves and he's one of them. Uh, through bad and good you know and, and I respect that and he's probably one of them people I'm gonna have in my life rest of my life <laughs>